What's up everybody, Bad Force Tom here. I'm gonna be doing a quick unboxing followed by a customization of the Ben Affleck Batman. Uh, all right, so here we go. Um, <clears throat> I think a lot of you guys have noticed if you are after these figures, um, they shouldn't be too hard to come by at this point. I was just at, I wanna say Target, maybe it was Walmart, and actually Toys R Us as well. They were just, Toys R Us was jam packed with all the Batman vs Superman stuff. I mean like, to, to the, it looked like a fat guy, like a fat guy sitting at a buffet, you know, and then they tell him, you, it's, you know, all you can eat. And the guy's like, yeah. And they're like, yeah, it's all you can eat. He goes, are you sure? And they're like, yeah, yeah, it's all you can eat. So he sits down six hours later, you know, the guy's busting at the seams. There's food all over his face. I mean, that's what it looked like. The toy aisle, the Batman aisle at Toys R Us looked like a fat guy about ready to explode with Batman toys. That's how many there were, you know, coming out of every different orifice of that aisle. Uh, kind of a disgusting description, but it was disgusting how many Batman toys there were. It was just absolutely, a, a just, ugh. It was amazing, too, though. Uh, so, you know, like I said, a lot of Batman vs. Superman stuff um, already out on the shelves. Um, they got these, of course, the uh, the Superman, the Batman. They got the armor that you see in the middle right there. We did an unboxing. You can go back and check that one out if you haven't seen that one yet. Um, and they also have, you know, a couple of the three, three and up toys with uh, Lex Luthor, like a... It's like a Lex Luthor suit, uh, armored suit. There's a Batman with an armored suit. A Superman. It's a kind of ridiculous. Like, obviously, I don't think Superman's gonna need a suit in the movie, but you know, they're giving everybody, you know, suits, mech suits, because kids like that. Um, you know, they all got a bunch of other stuff. They got 12 inch figures that are kind of cheaply made for 30 bucks. Um, but you know, if you want to bust those open and kind of play with those and customize them, that'd be cool too. Um, so my point with uh, this unboxing with the uh, Batfleck is. Um, I've seen a lot of people on uh, line who have actually, you know, customized them because uh, his eyes, his face, his entire head sculpt is just not that good. If you look a little bit closer, um, he just does not have a very good and accurate head sculpt. I mean, look at that. It's kind of crappy looking. The eyes are weird and the, I mean, he's got a little butt chin, but that's about it. And, you know, it's like a straight up gray suit. Um, not a lot of the detail coming out of the suit, like in the trailers that we've seen, it's kind of got that, it's kind of got a raised, kind of ribbed little, um, <clears throat> little detail to it, and the only thing that has it is the ch there's a chest logo here, but, um, and also the, the gold on the belt is kind of dull, and the knuckles, he's got some gold on it, that's kind of dull, and he's got some gold on his, uh, boot, uh, boot toes that are kind of dull, so I've seen people really bring those colors out a lot more, uh, specifically, a uh, buddy of mine, um, same old X on Instagram. That's at same underscore old underscore X. Um, he did an amazing job with this guy. I'm talking like he looks phenomenal. So go check him out. Go check out those pictures. Once again, that's same underscore old underscore X on Instagram. Dude made this thing look amazing. So definitely check it out. That's kind of what was my inspiration to even open this guy in the first place. It's like, damn, like, you know, he put some more eye black on the eyes, you know, made him a little squintier. I think he added a little scruff to the mouth and the beard. Um, he brought out the detail on the on the the suit more. It was really nice. So, um, without further ado, let's go ahead and open that bad boy up, right? I think the the best way is right here. This right. Right there. Give it one hand, so gotta be careful. Right? Okay. 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 All right. So I suck at that, as you can see. I just gave up. I didn't even want to mess with it. It's just. Such a ridiculous, I mean, I'm not even keeping the box, who cares, but man, that sucked that time. It's so hard to do this with one hand, two hands, and film this at the same time, but there he is. Closer look. All right, let's pull him out. He's pretty easy to grab. He just, like I said, I said the last time with the armor suit, it's just kind of a used condom. You just kind of want to rip it off, you know? It's not pleasant, but you got to be doing it, you know? There it is. There he is, guys. So... Again, really bad head sculpt, just terrible head sculpt. Um, but Xander also dull coated the cowl because see, like they kind of try to make that coat right there. The they try to raise that texture, but it just doesn't look good. So I'm gonna be customizing this guy, messing with him. I think uh, he also put a, a cloth cape on him, but you know I, that's a little too advanced for me at this point. Um, we'll see if maybe I can, you know, find a way to do that. But for right now, it's just gonna be the paint, ladies and gentlemen. So. Um, and if you notice these figures in the back, I did a quick video uh, of how the Nightmare Batman has been influenced uh, for the upcoming film by this guy, which is the JLA, uh, the JLA Batman, um, the uh, Liberty Files Batman, obviously the coat, the goggles, and then how he's somewhat inspired by 
uh, Gotham by Gaslight Batman, again, with that kind of similar look. And then last but not least, um, more so in the storyline, he's inspired by Red Sun Batman. As far as being a freedom fighter trying to overthrow soups, all that good stuff. So uh, check back on that video. I have that up there uh, if you want to check back and check that last video out. But yeah, I just want to do a quick unboxing of the Batfleck. I'll probably do the Superman at some point. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to do this guy. Superman, to be honest with you, I think out of all the ones I've seen, looks the best. So I don't think there's going to be really any need to customize him. If I break him out, I'm just going to break him out and use him as is. Um, the suit looks nice. The emblem looks nice. This is a pretty good... Uh, paint job I got on this guy, so I'll probably just open this guy up and use him as is All right guys, so welcome to part two of the video. This part is the actual um, After of uh, customizing the bad flip figure the first part of the video was when I was just unboxing him in between that part and this part I put uh, you know, I, I customized him. I put a picture of him up on Instagram and um, People really kind of responded to it a lot of people asked me how I did it So I figured this second part of the video is going to be explaining uh, my process of how to do it and in no way is this like the best way it's just the way I did it and uh, I literally just looked up pictures of people who did it um, looked up other pictures online of, of other customizations and originally I wasn't going to do a cloth cape but it looks so good and some of the other pictures I got some encouragement you know I built myself up and I was like you know what screw it I'll do a cloth cape and I kind of went crazy because not only did I do a cloth cape for the bat flick but I ended up doing it for most of my other Mattel Batman figures too I got the you know the uh, the one on the left you can see them all you know the the bales the uh, dark knight returns and the guy on the left over there so i went crazy so here is what he looks like after so this is the um donna justice batman after i customized him so as you can see um i put way more eye black not way more i put more eye black on the eyes so he is now kind of squintier i got that idea from again my buddy on Instagram at same underscore underscore old underscore X same old X um, formerly known as Xanderland but um, yeah I got the idea of making his eyes squint here he did a much better job of dull coating the, the the cowl but I think it looks alright I mean it's not perfect but um, I got the uh, the cloth cape on it and then I just black washed the shit out of his suit to kind of bring out the um, the texture and uh, the the detail of the of kind of like how it looks like it's kind of like stretched over him so i really like the way it looked uh, it looks a little bit different than obviously xander's um his is probably a little bit more i don't know if you want to say more accurate it's just different you know his cow i like it a lot better but i'm an amateur man this is the first time i ever customized a figure like that so i'm happy with the results um like i said i got a lot of positive feedback on instagram so people ask me how i did it so i'm going to show you guys how i did this guy I didn't, I didn't do much to the other guys in the back. Um, this guy did the most with. As you can see, I left part of his cowl uh, or his cape um, as kind of just a way of holding it down. But um, there's a better look at it right there. So as you can see kind of what I did. I like folding the cape back just because it looks better. It looks more accurate. It doesn't look as funny. Um, anyhow, so I will kind of walk you through exactly what I did. So, uh, and I'll kind of go over the things that I use so that way if you guys want to do the same thing. So you're going to need um, an X-Acto knife for sure. And that's going to be to cut away the cape. Um, you're going to need a, a blow dryer. I don't have that, but uh, I use a blow dryer. The blow dryer is going to heat up the, the rubber part of the cape. Um, here is, this isn't from the exact same figure, but it's from a different one. Here is what the capes usually look like. They're hard plastic, you know. Um, they kind of mold, they kind of move a little bit, but not really. So what I did is I used a hair dryer to heat it up. And then with the X-Acto knife, I cut it away. And uh, I left the kind of shape of the cowl the way you see it here. So that way, when I popped it off, I could still fit the cape underneath. And it would kind of blend a little bit. So you could see that, you know, this is part of the cape. That's not the cowl. This head comes off and it's uh, a removable cowl portion right there. Cape portion, rather. So... Uh, what I did is I took the blow dryer, heated it up, I cut out the uh, the cape, I left the cowl piece the way I wanted it, and um, I went to the fabric store. I kind of at first I used a really shitty fabric, uh, that phrase at the end. But if you want a nice fabric, I used kind of like a heavy nylon that they had. It kind of looks like this, and it it it's really really good for this cape because it doesn't fray at the end, and it kind of has a nice little sheen to it. So. It's not too dark. It doesn't absorb too much light. Doesn't reflect too much. Or it doesn't reflect too much light. Rather, it reflects it, but 
I mean, it, you know, the, the capes kind of have a little bit of reflection, a little bit, not like a Keaton cape where it just absorbs all the light. Um, so you're going to want to get some fabric from like a fabric store or, you know, Walmart has some fabric. Sometimes Target might. But I went to, uh, I think, uh, where did I go? I went to like Joanne's Fabrics and I cut a yard of this stuff. It's like a heavy nylon. Uh, it should be like seven bucks for a yard. Um, so it was pretty good. Using that, obviously, you're going to need some sewing scissors. So I use some sewing scissors to uh, cut out the shape of the cape. And uh, I used, <laughs> it was kind of a ghetto, I used a, a, a ceramic bowl to kind of cut a circle out. But you're going to want the cape, obviously, to have the length so it kind of drapes just past the calves right, be right before the ankles to kind of give it that look that, you know, that Batman has when he, you know, when he has the cape that kind of sits right there. So um, I, you know, I cut it out in a circle form, so it doesn't, it wasn't this small, but it looked like that. See the circle? So I cut it out in a circle, and then um, after that, you kind of cut into the circle. You kind of cut like a V, so a V in the circle, so his head will go here, uh, just kind of right above the middle, not exactly the middle, um, so that way it drapes kind of evenly around him. But then you cut that, and then depending upon how you want to glue it onto the cowl, you would do it that way. Um, so the way I did it was, this guy actually, uh, I draped it right, I cut a hole, and I put, popped it through his neck, and then I put the cowl on top to kind of look and see how I wanted it. So I kind of played with it a bit before I found the exact positioning that I wanted. And then uh, once I found the positioning I wanted, um, I used some, do I have it on here? Yeah, here it is. I use some super glue to just kind of glue the cowl and glue the cape down. Um, so that's how I did the, the fabric cape. But I didn't do that until after I had already painted him. So I will go over that real quickly. I'm really bad at this because I'm going backwards. But uh, and the way I painted him was I, I don't even remember if I cut off his original cape first because I wasn't planning on doing a cloth cape. So I just took, uh, I, uh, I think he had his original cape on. But anyways... I took some acrylic paint. I used uh, just your basic black acrylic paint. I got this from Hobby, the Hobby Lobby. You can get it from Michael's or any hobby store. I used Anita's All Purpose Craft Paint uh, Black. It's probably like, I think it was like a buck seventy-five. Um, I got some gray just in case I wanted to kind of dull out some black. I don't think I, I ever really used much of it, but it was just the black. And then um, what I did is I took the black and I put some in a cup. And then I just put some water in it to do a black wash, and I just black washed the shit out of the probably like three or four coats of it. Just black wash the shit out of this guy. Uh, other people don't use as much. I used a lot, and uh, you know you can kind of however however dark however however black wash you want to make him, you can kind of play with it. But I just kind of you know I, I did as I did it as I kind of wanted it, and I think I like the way it came out. Uh, in the light, he kind of has a metallic look, but he's a lot duller than that. It's just because of the lighting. Once he, I take pictures of him, you'll see that he's not really that, like, kind of shiny. He's he's more dulled out, and that's the whole point of the black wash. It kind of uh, smooths out the features, darkens it, and brings out the uh, the highlights of uh, the ridges, you know, in his suit. Um, so that's, how, that's all I did. I really didn't really do much else. Um, the eye black, obviously, I took a really thin, a very thin um, paintbrush, and I just kind of slightly went over uh, parts of it. Um, to kind of in the tips underneath the bottom and on the sides to kind of give him that squinty look and I'll give you a comparison of the before so here's what he looks like after and then I have another one to do the before so here he is before here's the before and as you can see in the before uh, his eyes are fucked they're like bug-eyed um, you know he's just way too the eyes are just way too like almond shaped they're really too elongated you know, it's not really accurate. Um, here he is without the black wash. You get a better look at what he looks like uh, just as he comes out. Just kind of like a bright gray plastic. And then right there you can see the difference in the black wash if I stand him next to each other. Um, and then the cape too, obviously. Like this is just a hard plastic cape. It doesn't look very good. Um, and the way I have him, I think uh, he looks way cooler. So, again... Um, before and after, and then with the squinty man, you really want to use acrylic paint because the good thing about acrylic paint is that it washes out with hot water. So if you screw up on the eyes and you cover too much than you wanted, you can always wash it out with hot water and a washcloth. Like I said, I just took a really thin brush 
got the corners and the bottom just a little bit to kind of make him have a more squint eyed look. And uh, again, I think just the eyes by itself just give him such a more uh, of an accurate look, you know, than than what this guy has. Son of a bitch, I'm sorry. This guy's fucking drunk. Um, but I think he's just way more accurate looking with the uh, with the eyes a little bit more squint here. You can see right there, right? And the suit is a little darker, like in the trailers. And parts of the lighting, you almost think he's wearing all black, but he's not because it's dark gray. So, But there's the before and the after. And uh, I'll probably do, I did the armored one too as well. If I have him here, here he is. Here's the armored Batman. And I got some questions on, on him. So I'll just really quickly just kind of go over how I did him. Here's the armored. And as you can see, this guy is way shinier than in the uh, when he first comes out. I got that right there from the X-Acto knife. Be really careful, guys. But um, what I did with him is I just threw a black wash on, just like I did with the Affleck. And then I took some metallic acrylic paint. And um, I went over the metal parts, the metal portions that I thought were like metal and not cloth. So I took some regular old Anita's all-purpose metallic silver. And that is what I used for uh, this guy. I haven't put a cloth cape on him just because I think his cape is a little bit more difficult to kind of work with but um as you can see it really brings out like the stick marks on his helmet on his suit in general i think it just kind of gives a nice little shine to it way more metallic looking than the dull uh the dull plastic let me see if i can get i think i only have him in the packaging so here's the uh, here's the before let's see if i can get him a better before and after here's the before and then, if I bring this guy over, God, I am fucking terrible at this point, and I gotta get a stand for my camera. Here's the after. So, way shinier, not as shiny, way shinier, right? So he really, really kind of pops under the light and uh, gives that metallic look of him in an actual armored suit, right? So again, I just did some black. This one was even easier than the after, than the back, like the, the non-armored. All I did was I black washed once over, and then I took the metallic uh, paint. I went over all the metal pieces with a brush, uh, dry brushed it. I didn't use any water, so I dry brushed this guy with the metallic paint. And then after that, I went over him with a black wash again. And, uh, you know, the black wash kind of seeped into the cracks. And so that's what kind of really makes him look out, look stand out and pop. So there it is, guys. I hope, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this wasn't much of a tutorial, just kind of like a look, a quick look at the before and after of the Affleck suits. Excuse my fat fingers. God, I'm terrible at this. Uh, I went in, I had a, went to Mongolian barbecue last night, guys, and my fingers are really swollen because all the salt. I'm fat, so I enjoy some Mongolian barbecue. I enjoy a healthy quantity of meat. <laughs> I love eating a lot of meat. I love shoving meat down my mouth. Love having meat in my mouth. Um, I set myself up for that one. But yeah, so I uh, had a lot of Mongolian barbecue and I had a lot of salt in it and it kind of puffed up my fingers fatter than they normally are. So that's why I'm knocking everything over and that's why everything looks like shit, you know, by the, you know, God, and there you go, stands. There it is. So the armored Batman and the uh, Affleck normal suit after I kind of customized them. So, uh, yeah, let me know if you guys want. I'm going to I'm going to open up the Superman, but I don't think I'm going to customize him very much. Um, there's not much you can do about the one room and I don't have you yet, but I'm going to be looking for. So hit me up guys on Instagram. I am at Bad Force Tom on Instagram. I'm also on Twitter at Bad Force Tom. Uh, hit up the Bad Force. We are the underscore Bad Force on Twitter and we are the Bad Force on Instagram. Uh, again, all this inspiration, it basically came from two people. I don't want to, uh, uh, same old X, same underscore old underscore X. And also my buddy, uh, Alex Aliens Toy Vault. Um, I think it's just Alex Aliens Toy Vault. I'm sure there's some underscores, but just search on Instagram, Alex Alien Toy Vault, and he'll pop up. I can't remember the exact spelling on his name, but uh, both those dudes, huge inspirations for customizing these figures. And uh, you'll find a lot more on the toy community and Instagram of people customizing and taking shots. So, all right, guys, uh, that concludes this video, and uh, I'll see you guys on Twitter and Instagram. All right, Bat Force Tom over and out.